Greetings, Rocketeers! This is your Toy Commander, and are you guys ready for today's mission? Great, so am I! Alright kids, today we are going to be exploring some of the coolest creatures that ever roamed this earth and some that still roam this earth. Three of my favorite categories, dinosaurs, bugs, and sharks. Wow. So these are tins by T.S. Shore and they are STEM approved kits. That means science, technology, engineering, and math. So this tin right here is really cool. It's a great little storage case for your items in here. And this one here is called Dinosaur Species of the World. And look at all those cool dinosaurs. So inside of each one of these kits are educational magnets and learning materials. Here's a look at the back of the dinosaurs of the world. This is what's going to give you an idea what's inside. It includes two double-sided educational fact sheets and 23 dinosaur magnets. Dinosaur species come alive in this exciting educational science tin. And then we have right here, that's right, we have bug science. And look at all these cool bugs on the front right here. Whoa, look at the wolf spider. Actually, the wolf spider is pretty common down here where we live. And on the back there are 23 awesome magnets. Play games and quiz your family and friends on bug names and fun facts about these critters. That'll be cool to look at that. And then of course we have Shark Species of the World. So many interesting looking sharks. And there's a whale shark. And the great white is one of the most dangerous predators of the sharks. Okay, so here's a look at the back. Learn about shark species with this educational science tin. Hinge tin box contains shark magnets and fun facts for hours of learning fun. So let's go ahead and explore. We have some various uh, sharks and dinosaurs here. We have a giant T-Rex in the back. Whoa! <gasps> All right, let's start out with the dinosaurs. Now, some of the dinosaur names are gonna be a little bit challenging to pronounce, but We'll do our best that we can. Whoa, look at this. We have a map of the world right here. And we also have down here, this is kind of interesting. This is what the Earth looked like in different times of evolution. And right down here is the Triassic period. And this is what the continents looked like then. And that was 250 to 200 million years ago. Now the Jurassic period this is what the continents was starting to shift a little bit and that was between 145 and 200 million years ago and right over here is the Cretaceous period which is between 65 million and 145 million so you can see how the continents are shifting pretty cool right and over here are dinosaur fossil discovery locations and geological time periods. So we have the Triassic, Jurassic, and the Cretaceous, and it shows you these continents right here. And over here are the magnets. So let's take these out and some of our information. And then right over here is some more information. So much to learn in here. It gives you a glossary, a dinosaur classification, and dinosaur diets, what they ate. So the herbivore species would be an animal that feeds on plants, vegetation, and other green leaves. Now the omnivore is an animal that eats both plants and meat. And then the carnivore is strictly meat, flesh-eating animals. And then here's a look at the magnet sheets. And all you need to do, right kids, is just punch these magnets right out and you can stick them on your refrigerator or anything that they will stick to. And there are two sheets and look at the detail on some of these dinosaurs. Pretty cool, right? So why don't we do this? Let's take the information sheet and I'll give you guys just a couple interesting facts about each dinosaur. So our first one here is the Brachiosaurus, which is 82 feet in length. Whoa, that's a big dinosaur and they eat plants because they are a herbivore. So over here we have the Chasmosaurus, I believe, and this is also a herbivore, 
and its length was 17 feet. So that's also pretty big. And then right down here, the, the Apatosaurus, which was 75 feet and also an herbivore. And then over here, a Spinosaurus was 50 feet. This thing ate meat because it's a carnivore. So the one down here is called a Gobi Venator, and that's only five feet. That's kind of small compared to the rest. And it is also a carnivore. And the last one down here is a Hyliosaurus, 25 feet in length and is a herbivore. Pretty cool. And then let's look on the back. We have the Tyrannosaurus Rex, known as the T-Rex. 40 feet and it's a carnivore. They're one of the more vicious dinosaurs. And the Parasolophilus down here is 33 feet long and eats plants. Stegosaurus is 30 feet and eats plants. And the Triceratops is also 30 feet and also eats plants. Now this one here is a little bit tough to pronounce. It's the Euaplocephalus. Huh? And it's 20 feet and it's also a herbivore. Uh, so on this card we have Gigantoraptor which is 26 feet and is an omnivore, which means it eats both meat and plants. And the Diplodocus is 90 feet. Whoa, that's the biggest one so far. And it eats all plants. And then we have the Dryosaurus, which is 8 to 14 feet and is a herbivore. So down the bottom we have a Barasaurus, which is 89 feet. Whoa, that's almost as tall as the Diplodocus. And this eats plants only. So first up here we have the Edmontosaurus and it's 43 feet long. Pachycephalosaurus. Whew, that's a tough one. And this is 16 feet long and is a herbivore. And the last one is a Dromesio minus. It's 11 feet and it's a omnivore. All right guys, and that is the dinosaur kit. Lots of really good information in this tin right here. Let's go on to our bugs in the middle. And here's a look at the contents that includes 23 illustrated magnets, two double-sided sheets with educational material, magnet tin, and a play case. Oh, check this out right here. You can take your magnets and you can find where they belong right on this back here. So here are all the bugs. Let's go over these bugs real quick. Bugs are cool on both sides. There are areas that you can put different types of insects. So we have insects on this side, arachnids, and myriapods. So we have these two information sheets. Let's take a quick look at some of these bugs. We have the dragonfly, centipede grasshopper, the red spotted purple butterfly, honeybee, the cicada. Those are the ones that make those loud noises. You can hear them in the trees. And the moth, the mosquito, the worst insect I think of all time and also the wolf spider which is upside down you have to look at it like that and then down the bottom we have the cricket the harmless cricket and then over here we have the dung beetle Ew. we have the caterpillar millipede ant monarch butterfly firefly ant. that's a regular ant I think the red ants are the ones that bite we have the fly bumblebee ladybug and what's this over here? The praying mantis. We don't see those that much, but they're really cool in the scorpion. Let's take a look at our bug science sheet. Let's first look at the arthropods classification. We have the insects, arachnids, the myriapods, and the learning activity down the bottom. So the insects, three body segments, head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, one pair of antenna, and may have wings. Arachnids, two body segments, fused head and thorax, Eight legs, does not have any antenna, does not have wings. The myriapods, two body segments, head and trunk, many pairs of legs, one pair of antenna, and does not have wings. On the other side, bug science. We have a glossary here with different names and meanings. And then right on this one here, it gives you all the information on each one. Let's give a couple of really cool facts about insects. All right, so first one we have the common housefly, which is one of my second annoying uh, insects. The rest of them are cool, but the mosquito and a fly really just bug you all the time. Get it? Bug you. 
So the flies are found all over the world with 16,000 different species in North America alone. That's a lot of flies. Wow. And flies can live almost anywhere, indoors or outdoors. Now the honeybee is definitely something that's productive and worthwhile because they produce honey. That's right. They have black and yellow striped bodies and transparent wings. The honeybee, only the queen lays eggs. Now the praying mantis, which is one of the coolest looking bugs, they are about five inches long. They can grow up to five inches anyways. And they're distinguished by their powerful forelegs. Mantises like wooden leafy areas where they can climb and await their prey, camouflaging themselves on bark and leaves. They're really hard to see when they're on something because they kind of blend right in. And they can lay up to 2,000 eggs. Whoa! Now the wolf spider is something that's very common to where I live. I see them all the time. What's interesting about a wolf spider is that they don't spin webs. And that's why we see them in our garages, around the foundations of our homes. And the females are larger than the males. Wolf spiders have powerful hook jaws for catching and eating their prey. Now down the bottom, the ladybug. Everybody loves the ladybug. We see them in our windowsills all the time. And they lay their eggs on the undersides of leaves. Now the dragonfly is also a really cool looking uh, insect. And the dragonfly unfortunately lives a very short life out of water. Adults drop their eggs into ponds or other still freshwater habitats. The eggs hatch into nymphs which remain under the water for several years. Wow. So the dragonfly is a carnivore. They don't eat plants. They eat like other insects, mosquitoes, which is good. I'm glad they eat mosquitoes. All right, let's look on the other side here. We have the grasshopper, which is very common. We used to love to catch grasshoppers when we were kids. And over here are moths, which we see all the time around campfires. For some reason, the moth are drawn to heat and they always fly into the fire or you see them hanging around different lights outside for the warmth. Now the mosquito here is the worst of all. They do nothing but bother you and make you itchy. All right, we won't even talk about them. So let's go to the ants. Ants are cool, they don't do anything, they just crawl around. Ants are omnivores eating both plant and animal matter. Down the bottom is caterpillars and butterflies. So I'm gonna take one of these magnets, punch them out, and let's see if it fits right here with that butterfly just like that and you can line up all your magnets pretty cool you can keep everything right back in this tin and that concludes our quick bug lesson and then let's go over here to the sharks so this contains the same thing but it only has 20 illustrated magnets and two-sided sheets with educational material and here's some of the sharks let's open it up and whoa it looks kind of like the ocean a little bit a little bit blue and wavy looking Here's a look at all the sharks. Let's see if we can read off a few here. All right, so this is the nurse shark, the basking shark, zebra shark, spiny dogfish shark, angel shark, whale shark, copper shark, leopard shark, long nose saw shark. Look at that, that looks just like a giant saw. And all, look at this one here, this one's pretty funny too. It's a goblin shark. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. All right, so let's look at some of these right here. Now the blue shark, the bull shark is very aggressive. I know that. Oh no! And then right over here is the sharp nosed shark. The scalloped hammerhead, it looks like a hammer. The wabagong shark, mega mouth shark. Great White, which we hear about all the time. The Payama Shark, I think it's pronounced. And the Mako Shark. And the Broad Nose Seven Gill Shark. Pretty cool, and here's some interesting facts. Let's go over a couple different interesting facts about each shark. So over here we have the Leopard Shark and the Zebra Shark. This shark is called the Zebra Shark because it kind of looks like a zebra, right? What? It's striped. And these sharks are nocturnal hunters, so they only hunt at night. Over here is the nurse shark. Now the nurse sharks are very laid back. That's why they're nicknamed the couch potato of the ocean. Nurse sharks also swim very slowly. Over here we have the whale shark. It's the largest fish in the world. Whoa, 33 feet long in length. And these have 3,000 tiny teeth. 
Huh? And the Wabagong shark, there are 12 different species of the Wabagong. And they live in shallow tropical waters and also they move very slowly. So the bull shark and the great white shark are probably responsible for the majority of the deadly shark attacks to people. What? Now from what I understand, sharks really don't want to attack people and they don't even like the way we taste. No. But they bite us because they think we're fish. What? Anyways, this is the black reef shark right here. This shark usually feeds on small fish and occasional seabirds. Over here we have the great hammerhead, and these are found all over the world in warm waters. The scalloped hammerhead too. And the blue sharks mainly eat squid and fish and can grow up to 13 feet. Now the tiger shark is another dangerous shark right here. They can grow up to 14 feet long. So up here is the pajama shark. Pajama? What? Pajama sharks are bottom dwelling, living only in rocky reefs and kelp beds off the warm water shores of South Africa. And the copper shark. Copper sharks are members of the Requiem shark family. They are found along coastal regions of warm oceans also. The shark nose sharks are found in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of the United States. They grow up to 33 inches long. So there's also a lot more sharks on here to learn about. There's two more sides. Let's see what we have. We have the dwarf lantern shark, the spiny dogfish, dumb gulper shark. I never heard of that one. The cookie cutter shark and the long nose saw shark, the uh, broad nose and the frilled shark. That one looks really cool. And then the angel shark. All right, guys, that does it for this video. Lots of cool things to learn here and see and play with in these kits. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Smash that like button and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off, and I'll see you guys on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off out of here.